What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. With the recent Netflix live action show kind of taken over, I figured it'd be time to, you know, unbox one of the uh, best action Avatar The Last Airbender figures. So I went to a comic shop this past weekend, or two weeks ago at this point I think, and I saw a figure I never even knew released because I thought I was complete on the line. And it turns out that there's a war paint Sokka that is a previews exclusive, which means like local comic shops, limited to 3,000, and it was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive apparently, or like around that time. So I never knew this existed. I just picked it up. I got it for like 20 bucks, which I'll pay 20 bucks for a figure, you know? And I was pleased with it. So I figured I'd hop on here, do a review for you guys, and we'll get to talk about it together. I know it's not my typical wrestling content, but I do collect a lot of other things besides just wrestling. So I figured I'd come on here and show you guys regardless. So let me crack this out of the package and then we will take a look at it. All right, so I really and truly think that the Loyal Subjects Best Action line is like a five inch line, which is unreal. Like I wish I had one of my old like GI Joe three and three quarter inch figures from when I was little so I could compare it for you guys. Like, I, they're, I love the line because Avatar doesn't get much love. It was my favorite cartoon growing up. But, this is not in scale with anything. For those of you that saw my recent review, this is how big he is compared to my Samoa Joe custom. Like, I know Sokka's a child, but he's like, come on. That is, uh, that's a little ridiculous, if I, if I say so myself. Like... I, uh, I don't know what the goal of the line is, but they haven't put out a new figure in probably a year. So I'm assuming the line might be dead, and I know McFarlane got the license, but this is the War Paint Sokka. Now, I went and Googled because I couldn't remember how many episodes Sokka appeared in War Paint. I think it was like once or twice. So it's, it's fitting that it's an exclusive instead of a mainline release, but then you got to remember that Loyal Subjects never gave us a mainline release Sokka. We did get a War Paint Sokka in the 2006 or 2007 Mattel line. I think it was Series 2. Let me double check. Let's see. Yeah, War Paint Sokka, as you see, was on the back of the package for Series 2, or the Water Series, rather. You see War Paint Sokka there, along with Water Vortex, and King Boomy Jet, Arctic Stealth Zuko, and Spirit World Egg, which, if you have that, I need that really bad. But, I just, I hate how small this line is. I got it to be a completist, but it just, it feels like it's lacking. The, the paint, like, the figure doesn't really match up with what we see on the package. Like, this strap here, I guess you call it should be like a brown color there should be like feathers I guess you could say or like yeah I think they're pretty much feathers or something should be hanging off over here over the shoulder it's just it's very bland if you take away this and this it's just two colors and there's no like ounce of detail the range of motion is pretty good, even though I thought I was about to pop the arm off. The range of motion is actually pretty good. I would want a little more out of the legs. Let's see. He cannot bend over well. That answers that. And if it pops apart that easily, I am happy that they don't have the line anymore. I managed to get it back on. But that should not be happening. So that's that's what your ab movement is, which is ridiculous. As far as legs, they kick up about that far, nothing special. The arms are very impressive, except you can't get further back than that. The face skin is really good. Uh, I guess it's just because of the war paint. I really want to pick up the old one, though, because I just... Very disappointed since opening this. Kind of wish I didn't open it now. He comes with some accessories. As you see, he has the fisted hands on the figure there. He also comes with two hands for holding his club and his boomerang. Very, very, very small hands. Jesus. Do I have a Mattel hand that I can show you guys? No, I do not. Here is his club that he comes with. 
Love seeing Sokka use that in the cartoon. Then he comes with a, a, uh, I forgot what it's called. It's like a little holster that he wears across his back for his boomerang. Something cool about it though, it does say 2020 or uh, 22 convention exclusive, which is a nice touch, not gonna lie. And then you have the boomerang that goes inside that pouch. We'll call it a pouch. I don't know if it's considered a pouch, but oh well. As you see, it slides right in there, which is nice. It's nice. And then he comes with his Earth Kingdom bag that he got, well, when they were in the Earth Kingdom. I think he picked this up around the Blind Bandit episode. And I didn't know it's actually open, so that's cool. Let's see if he can, he can throw his club in there. Why not? He'll throw that over his shoulder. But the cool thing he comes with is a standard Sokka head sculpt without the war paint. I think this looks really good. It's a really good likeness to Sokka. It is, uh, I'd probably say, second best of any of the figures released of him. We will talk about that in a second when we compare him to the McFarlane lines and the original Mattel line. Let's see how he scales up next to the loyal subjects, Aang. All right, so I got Aang here. This is like from, I think, pretty much his final battle. No, maybe not final battle, but definitely third season. And Aang and Sokka are not the same height. I don't know what got away from them here, but this is, this is just not even near close to scale. That is honestly quite sad. I, uh, the Aang is actually a pretty good figure besides like the, the leg articulation and the torso articulation, but we're not talking about Aang. We are talking about Sokka. So yeah, this figure is kind of a letdown. Here he is next to the McFarlane Sokka, which I picked up just to do a head swap with something else. They're around the same height, but McFarlane's obviously taller. And, uh... Just the head sculpt is better. Both have terrible articulation, I'm not gonna lie. But, like I said, I'm doing an upgrade for both. And here we have him against my childhood 2006 Mattel Sokka. He has like sticky tack on his feet. So, I'm not gonna try and stand him up. Also, you can just tell that this is not gonna stand up well. But, I just, I was very let down with the best action figure. Or the Loyal Subjects Best Action Figure. I'm not going to lie. I honestly really and truly expected more. And I'm pretty let down. Um, I would not recommend this figure to anybody else. Unless you are a completist like myself. But that's that's really all I have to say about it. It's, 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 it's really a let down. And I think you guys can tell like in my demeanor here. I wish it was something better. But that is going to be it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I love Avatar. I always have. We're going to do wrestling content. Duh. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And last but not least, take it easy.